To visualize changes in volume, imagine taking the balloon on the water. Imagine it getting smaller as you take it down and bigger again as you take it up. Draw a picture like this if it helps you. Now let's say that the balloon has a volume of 6 liters at the surface. And we will take this balloon to 20 meters deep of seawater. What will the new volume be? To work this out, we first need to know what the pressure is at 20 meters of seawater. This is 3 bar. Remember, 20 meters divided by 10 equals 2 plus 1 bar of the surface equals 3 bar in total. The pressure at 20 meters is 3 times higher and the volume of the balloon will be 3 times smaller. Because the volume is 3 times smaller, we will have to divide the original volume of the balloon by 3. 6 liters divided by 3 is 2 liters. So the new volume of the balloon will be 2 liters. Let's try another example. Let's say the balloon has a volume of 14 liters at the surface. What will the new volume be if we take this balloon to 32 meters of seawater? Again, we first find out what the pressure is at 32 meters of seawater. It is 4.2 bar. Remember, 32 meters divided by 10 equals 3.2 plus 1 bar of the surface equals 4.2 bar in total. So the pressure is 4.2 times higher at 32 meters and the volume of the balloon will be 4.2 times smaller. 14 liters divided by 4.2 is 3.33 liters. So the new volume of the balloon will be 3.33 liters. Now let's work out the two previous examples in fresh water, so you can see the difference. Remember that the pressure at a given depth in fresh water is slightly less than in sea water. And this means that the balloon will be slightly bigger in fresh water than in sea water. Let's take the balloon with a volume of 6 liters to 20 meters of fresh water this time. First find out the pressure at 20 meters of fresh water. It is 2.94 bars. Remember, 20 meters divided by 10.3 equals 1.94 plus 1 bar of the surface pressure equals 2.94 bar in total. So the pressure is 2.94 times higher at 32 meters. And the volume of the balloon will be 2.94 times smaller. 6 liters divided by 2.94 is 2.04 liters. So the new volume of the balloon will be 2.04 liters. This is what we expected. In seawater, the volume was 2 liters. And in fresh water, it is slightly larger at 2.04 liters. Now let's take the balloon with a volume of 14 liters down to 32 meters of fresh water. The pressure at 32 meters of fresh water is 4.11 bar. 32 meters divided by 10.3 equals 3.11 bar plus 1 bar of the surface pressure equals 4.11 bar in total. So the balloon will be 4.11 times smaller. 
14 divided by 4.11 equals 3.41 litres. Again, this is what we expected. In seawater, the volume was 3.33 litres. And in fresh water, it is slightly larger at 3.41 litres. Now we're going to take it one step further. We're going to take a balloon from one depth to another depth and calculate the volume. The trick is to always begin by bringing the balloon to the surface first. When you know the volume of the balloon at the surface, it's then easy to work out the volume at the second depth. A balloon has a volume of 10 litres at 17 metres of seawater. What is the volume at 28 metres of seawater? First, bring the balloon to the surface. When we bring it to the surface, it will get bigger. To know how much bigger the balloon will be, we need to know the pressure at 17 metres of seawater. It is 2.7 bar. 17 metres divided by 10 plus 1. The balloon will be 2.7 times bigger. 10 litres multiplied by 2.7 equals 27 litres. At the surface, the balloon has a volume of 27 litres. Now let's take the balloon to the second depth of 28 metres of seawater. The pressure at 28 metres of seawater is 3.8 bar. 28 divided by 10 plus 1. So the balloon will be 3.8 times smaller. And 27 litres divided by 3.8 equals 7.11 litres. So the new volume of the balloon is 7.11 litres. Let's do the same example in fresh water. A balloon has a volume of 10 litres at 17 metres of fresh water. What is the volume at 28 metres of fresh water? Again, first bring the balloon to the surface. The pressure at 17 metres of fresh water is 2.65 bar. 17 divided by 10.3 equals 1.65 bar plus 1 bar of the surface pressure. So the balloon will be 2.65 times bigger. 10 litres multiplied by 2.65 equals 26.5 litres. At the surface, the balloon has a volume of 26.5 litres. Now let's take the balloon to the second depth of 28 metres of fresh water. The pressure at 28 metres of fresh water is 3.72 bar. 28 divided by 10.3 equals 2.72 plus 1 bar of the surface pressure. So the balloon will be 3.72 times smaller. 27 litres divided by 3.72 equals 7.26 litres. So the new volume of the balloon is 7.26 litres. And this is what we expected. In seawater, 
the volume was 7.11 litres. And in fresh water, it is slightly larger at 7.26 litres. Remember, if you want to practice more examples of working out the changes in volume, download the worksheet from the resources for this lecture.